Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to watch me. If you're new here, hi, welcome, my name is Sol. In today's video, I am going to be showing you a little mini Target haul. So I went to Target because I was running low on things and we are going on a little trip here soon. So I just wanted to repurchase some things that I'm running low on or that I already ran out of. So I just thought I'd turn it into a little video and kind of show you what I bought. I'll, let, um, I'll be letting you know which things I am re repurchasing or that I already repurchased. Um, and what things I'm trying um, as of now in case you're interested and also before we get started if you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe I would love to have you here with that being said I'm going to start with the least exciting thing the first item that I went to repurchase was this Dove soap pretty sure you're familiar with it um, but this one's a sensitive skin one it's fragrance free and hypoallergenic I usually use the normal one the normal scented one but I don't know if that's what's causing my chest to break out it could be that or I also was using this like Bath and Body Works coconut mist I usually don't use those because I prefer to use my natural essential oil perfume but I had run out of it I was like you know what what the heck let me just try out this coconut mist I love it it smells great and I'll just spray it on my clothes and avoid my skin obviously that's not the case um, because I would notice that some of it would spray on my chest and I stopped using it, but it still hasn't quite cleared up yet. And I was like, maybe it's the Dove soap that is not doing me any good. Um, my skin is very sensitive to fragrance and to stuff like that. So I wouldn't even be surprised if that's the reason why. So I'm like, let me go ahead and try this sensitive skin one. I am on the look for a cleaner bar of soap. I'll look out for a cleaner bar of soap, but I haven't found one yet. So in the meantime, I this will have to do the trick. The next item that I got was this um, shaving cream. It's by their by the Target brand Smartly. It is just a shaving foam, nothing much to it, and it says smells like summertime. And it's very like, florally. And it's only a dollar, and it gets the job done. The next item that I bought is their Unscented Gentle Facial Cleanser, also by the brand Smartly. Um, looking at it, it doesn't seem like it's the cleanest, but it's the only one that hasn't broken me out. I need a sensitive unscented one and this one is doing really good the other one that I use in conjunction with this when I wear a lot of sunscreen because you know I feel like you need like an oil based cleanser to really get rid of all the sunscreen on your face at the end of the day is the juice beauty milk cleanser I think it's called but for every day I need a gentle one like this I am thinking about just purchasing the big pump of cleanser from youth to people because that one is really good and i really liked it but i ran out of it so i think i'm just going to purchase that once i'm out of this one the next item that i bought was this aussie shampoo it's the coconut and australian jojoba oil one it's like three dollars i am looking for a cleaner alternative but all the ones that i've tried that are cleaner i just feel like haven't cleansed my hair enough or it just feels very heavy or like a film is left behind and I just don't like that so I'm just using my tried and true for now this one is three dollars like I mentioned um I've never colored my hair I don't color my hair I've thought about it but I'm haven't convinced myself to just do it and I really like how it looks like I, it has its own like natural highlights I don't know if you can see and I don't know I just really like where my hair is at right now and I don't want to ruin it so I don't find a need to purchase salon quality hair products because I'm not really investing in my hair so for me stuff from the drugstore works very well I know some people may be cringing but that's just what works for me the next item that I bought I haven't tried this because so this is new and it's the native hair coconut and vanilla uh, conditioner it smells heavenly I use their deodorant and I love it so much and this is always the scent that I fall back to it says thoughtfully made with 10 ingredients or less which i love and on the back it shows you the ingredients and it talks about what they are so it'll say acetyl alcohol hair conditioner derived from plant oils it has um citric acid food grade acid for ph balance so it kind of breaks it down for you and i like that because that's being super transparent and the fact that it has little ingredients is amazing so I'm excited to try this one. Next item, also from the same brand, is their coconut and vanilla deodorant. This is like my fifth um, deodorant by them. It's the only natural deodorant, aluminum-free deodorant that I found that really works for me. 
you know deodorant is a very personal thing and i feel like it's not a one size fits all so if this works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for all of you guys i feel like we all have a different body chemistry and our you know ph makeup is differently and so what might work for me might not work for you and vice versa so i feel like you just have to try out a few uh, natural deodorants if that's what you're looking for and find the one that really works for you i know they say it takes like a couple weeks for your body to kind of detoxify itself from whatever you were using previously so you might feel like it's not working but then it'll end up working for you i've tried the pharmacy one i've tried the i don't know the brand it's like something human from target as well i didn't like that one i also t tried um tom's of maine i think is what it's called and i didn't like it it felt like i was just using a stick of vaseline it was really gross but this one sorry my nose is itchy but this one really works for me and i just love it couldn't be happier with it i always get the coconut and vanilla scent i am waiting for their seasonal scents to come out you know they have a pumpkin like spice one a chai one and around christmas time i'm pretty sure they come out with like a sugar cookie one i love warm scents and i don't care if i smell like a sugar cookie i just love that warm sweet scent so i'm waiting for those to come out but in the meantime my tried and true has always been the coconut vanilla one because you can find it and get it year round the next item that i have is to reach for it I bought the brand is one for one and it's just these ultra thin liners that are chlorine free and um it says no synthetic pesticides dyes or fragrances and i just got them in the regular size i feel like when it comes to feminine products we're a lot of people are not aware that you can find better alternatives and that work just as great so i just started recently leaning towards more like cleaner and more less chemical based products when it comes to this kind of stuff and i am so happy i did and i don't know i just thought i'd share in case you guys were interested um or maybe you haven't heard of stuff like this but yeah they make you buy like pads and tampons and like liners that are um free of those nasty chemicals and just better for you they are a little bit pricier but i'd rather pay the extra penny then buy something that's cheap, just filled with a lot of gunk and chemicals and just not good for you things. So there's that. The next item, um, these last few items are hair related things. And so my hair, I usually wash every other day. I take a shower every day, obviously, but my hair I wash every other day. And I've noticed that with the heat and the you know, summer, you know just get sweaty i just feel gross so i just have been washing my hair every day which is not good and i've noticed that the ends have felt a little bit like rougher and like just drier so i'm like you know what i need to do something so one of the things that i got was this argon oil and aloe repair by herbal essences it's their from their bio renew lines it's like more natural and i love this so much you just shake it up and you can use it on damp or dry hair and it's an oil mist it's super weird but it leaves your hair so soft and it smells so good so it kind of works like a hair perfume as well a little bit goes a long way it's kind of tricky if you do use it when your hair is wet because you can't tell if it's the water in your hair or the oil that's making it feel wet so i made a mistake and i put too much so now i've realized that it works better if i just use it when it's dry because i can tell how much i'm putting in my hair so I use this when it's dry, just lightly mist it and I brush it so that way it comes through. And I only do it on the ends because I don't want to do it on my scalp because I don't want to get my hair oily. My scalp, so I just use it on the ends like I said. The next item is also from the same line and this is the Argon Oil and Aloe Botanical Repairing Mask. I've never been much of a hair mask type of person because I'm just lazy, okay? When it comes to this stuff, I'm like, whatever, I don't eat that. But it smells heavenly the they also have a coconut one which i wanted to get but they didn't have it at the target that i went to so i settled for the argon oil which is just great i'm sure and it smells so good so my new little hair regimen that i'm starting is obviously shampoo conditioner then once i rinse all that out i leave this hair mask in my hair for about three to five minutes while still in the shower and i then i rinse it and while I'm in the shower, I just bought these today also because I wanted to start this new routine. 
I all I have are like um like the hair ties that I have are mainly scrunchies and I'm like I don't want to ruin a scrunchie by tying my hair when it's wet with the mask on because then my scrunchie is going to be ruined and I'm going to have to make sure that the scrunchie is dry when I use it again that could potentially lead to mold and it's just it's it's a nasty cycle that I don't want to happen so I bought these Scoonsy um the brand is Scoonsy little like telephone wire I don't know if you remember those old telephones hair ties and they're great because they just dry as soon as you pat them with a towel and you don't have to wait for them to dry like a normal scrunchie so I thought that was great so I bought these two as well to go with my hair mask and then like I was saying after the hair mask I rinse it out brush my hair and once it's dry then I do the little oil on the ends and honestly guys I tried it today and my hair already feels so much better and it smells amazing as well so I'm looking at the viewfinder, not at the camera, I have to remind myself, <laughs> just look at the camera. Last, it is also another hair product. I love scrunchies and every time Target comes out with like their seasonal stuff, I, I can't help myself. I have these in my car, I have them in my bag, I have them in the bathroom, I have them in my vanity, on my vanity and in my drawers. I just love scrunchies they're just perfect they don't leave any kinks in my hair they're easy to take off they don't pull on my hair and they're really cute i got these today in a set they were eight dollars so they are a little bit more pricier than your typical pack but they're a lot bigger and they're cuter and they're super soft these are corduroy which i've never seen before and i just love them this is like a sagey color and then this is like an oatmeal color so right up my alley and my hair is really long and I just like how it makes it look I'm tied up. I can do like a third twist if I wanted my ponytail to be tighter but two is enough two little turns on that every time I just pull out a couple pieces these are long these are my face for my pieces but now they're super long I haven't cut my hair last time I cut my hair was like at the end of January so it's gonna be a year but I look super cute and just adds a little bit a little something to your ponytail so it doesn't look as um, boring I'm just making an excuse as to why I buy so many scrunchies I'm gonna go with your outfit I don't know that's my problem <laughs> it's my addiction but yeah i hope you found this video interesting i'm sorry if the lighting is kind of changing i am filming in natural lighting and it's the sun is setting so that's why the lighting might be weird but thank you so much for watching i appreciate all of you guys and if you have any questions or any comments any suggestions leave them down below i love reading them and responding to you guys and also thank you always for your support it means the world to me and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.